Hello dear children today we are going to learn the poem from unit 2 that is i ran into a stranger this poem deals with a basic and very significant factor of human being that is behavior before proceeding this poem we shall see the background of the poem as emily dickinson the famous english poet says behavior is what a man does not what he thinks feels or believes Good behavior can win the hearts of the people, whereas bad treatment or bad behavior with others can lose hopes about yourself. So it's a need to control and execute your behavior in proper manner. The poem is about the difference between the treatment with the closed ones and strangers. Human beings have two kinds of behavior, first social and second family. Social behavior means the behavior which we usually display in our society. Family behavior means the behavior which we display in our family or with our loved ones. Now we shall go to the actual poem. I ran into a stranger. I ran into a stranger as he passed by. Oh, excuse me, please, was my reply. He said, Please excuse me too, wasn't even watching for you. We were very polite, this stranger and I. We went on our way and we said goodbye. In the poem here, the poet tells us a story about a day in her life, in a very simple but poetic style. Let us see the meaning of the first stanza. The poet tells us that she once ran into a stranger on the street. She immediately apologized to him and he too returned the apology. They both were very polite to each other as they said goodbye and went on the way. Here the social behavior of the poet is depicted. The behavior of the poet towards the stranger was very good. Now let's see the meanings in the first stanza. First, ran into, which means collided. Second, a stranger, which means an unknown person. Let us go to the second stanza. But at home, a different story is told. How we treat our loved ones, young and old, Later that day, cooking the evening meal, my daughter stood beside me very still. When I turned, I nearly knocked her down. Move out of the way, I said with a frown. She walked away, her little heart broken. I didn't realize how harshly I had spoken. The poet here describes the incident that took place later that day in her house. Her young daughter was standing quietly beside her when she was cooking the evening meal. The poet did not notice her and nearly knocked her down when she turned. She lost her temper and frowning asked her daughter to move out of the way. Her little daughter walked away unhappily. The poet did not realize how harshly she had spoken. Instead of consoling her, she shouted at her. Her behavior towards the daughter was very harsh. Let's see the meanings in the second stanza. First, knocked, which means pushed. Second, frown, which means feeling of anger. Third, harshly, which means unkindly. Let's go to the third stanza. While I lay awake in bed, God's still small voice came to me and said, While dealing with a stranger, common courtesy you use, but the children you love, you seem to abuse. Look on the kitchen floor, you will find some flowers there by the door. Those are the flowers she brought for you. She picked them herself, pink, yellow and blue. She stood quietly not to spoil the surprise, and you never saw the tears in her eyes. Your in the third stanza, the poet tells us that later when she lay in a bed, a little voice which she calls God's voice told her that while she was polite to strangers, she was being rude to her own children whom she loved. 
the little boys also told her that if she looked on the kitchen floor she would find some flowers by the door those were the flowers that her daughter had brought for her she had picked the pink and yellow and blue flowers herself she had stood quietly beside her mother so as not to spoil the surprise the voice told the poet that she had not even noticed the tears in her daughter's eyes let's see the meanings in the third stanza first courtesy which means gentleness second spoil which means disturb let's see the fourth stanza by this time i felt very small and now my tears began to fall i quietly went and knelt by her bed wake up little girl wake up i said are these the flowers you picked for me here the poet says that after thinking over all this she began to feel very mean and she began to cry she got up and went and knelt quietly by her daughter's bed she then woke up her little daughter and asked her whether the flowers she had picked were for her let's see the fifth stanza she smiled i found them out by the tree i picked them because they are pretty like you i knew you would like them especially the blue i said daughter i am sorry for the way i acted today i shouldn't have yelled at you that way she said oh mom that's okay i love you anyway i said daughter i love you too and i do like the flowers especially the blue here the poet says us the daughter smiled and said that she had found them by the tree and she had picked them because they were pretty just like her mother she had felt that her mother would like them especially the blue ones the mother replied that she was sorry for the way she had acted that day and that she shouldn't have shouted at her daughter the daughter said that it was okay since she loved her anyway the mother told her daughter that she too loved her and she really liked the flowers especially the blue ones let's see the meaning here yelled which means shouted while living a life we should maintain our courtesy temperament decency and kindness we should be careful about our words and see to it that nobody is hurt the poem thus focuses on this theme thank you